Good morning, Tri-State. Let's take a look at some of the stories that are trending right now on WCPO.com. There is a new way to get alcohol in the Tri-State, and it's Amazon, right? They seem to do everything. The online retailer is expanding its home grocery delivery in Cincinnati to include beer and wine. That includes craft beers from the makers of like Rheingeist, Mad Tree, and Great Lakes Brewing Company. It costs about $8 for one hour delivery and in a two hour delivery is free for Amazon Prime members. WCPO.com reporter Dan Monk is the guy that has been working on this story. Okay, so this is an interesting thing. How, how does it really work? Do I have to show an ID at some point? You do have to show an ID. When, okay. Yeah, when they show up at the door, you can't pay in cash. Uh, you can, you're urged to tip the driver, so free delivery really is not, not free. free. And you have to be a Prime member uh, to to do Prime Now. And now most delivery, may I note, being a Prime member is free, but not this service. This service, well. Technically, from the standpoint of you tip. Right, exactly. Yeah. All right, so Amazon seems to be taking over the world here, friend. What are What is the <laughs> business world, how are they reacting to this? Uh, they're, a lot of them are downplaying it. You know, like Macy's, for example, is also impacted by Amazon. They just said in a recent call that uh, they're more worried about TJ Maxx than they are about Amazon. Is that right? Yeah. Kroger really doesn't talk about uh, competition, and they declined to comment for this story. Uh, their answer to home delivery of groceries has been the click list service that's been fairly popular here. More than two dozen stores have it now mm -hmm. where you can order online, pick up at the store. There's a company that actually uh, picks up your order for you and brings it to your house, another option for home delivery. So this is an evolving uh, category in the grocery world, but it's not a big one yet. And so I think uh, the companies competing against Amazon still see plenty of options in terms of getting people into their brick and mortar stores. Well, as in covering business and, and covering this topic, when you're talking about grocery and home delivery, do you think that this is where it is all going or is this gonna be a supplement to their sales? I think it's always gonna be a uh, smaller percentage. It's not going to be the dominant way that people okay. buy groceries. I don't think. I mean, you know. Because uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I if I don't stop at a Kroger every two days, somebody <laughs> sends out like he's missing at that standpoint. You know what I mean? But I didn't expect to be able to go on the right. internet and rent somebody's house for right. a week as opposed to checking into a hotel. So uh, everything is changing pretty quickly in this area. And Amazon has resources. That's the key here is that Am they have resources in terms of marketing. Uh, they're spending $1.5 in Northern Kentucky on, a, on an advanced distribution hub. So, uh, you know, they don't deliver in Northern Kentucky now. Chances are they will expand in Northern Kentucky at some point. So it's, you know, I, I wouldn't say this is the last step for Amazon and um, Kroger, Macy's, really Procter & Gamble, which sells consumer products. All of them are going to have to cope with this rising uh, power. In well, retail. we'll stay tuned. We'll continue to look for your reporting. It's an article you can read right now on our website at WCPO.com. Dan, thanks. Thank you.